Yeah, there's some stuff in the electronics that is sounds like drums, but it's actually there's some sequency stuff that has some of the sort of. Um, and when you talk about a sound designer or mixer, you're looking at them because I <laughs> I mix and produce all my own scores. So I'm basically a control freak. But there's a reason to that because I just feel like the sound of something is part of the aesthetic of it. So I'll just it started out years ago in my career as a function of economics, and it's just become well, that's just how I do it, and I enjoy it, you know. Um, so really, Peter's what's was so cool about what Peter did is he sort of heard all of it. There's some stuff that stayed, which is sort of like sort of mid rangey stuff. There was some there was some stuff in there that I think I brought in. There was some I think it was atmosphere or something where I had some like things that I brought in that could sort of open up the filter occasionally, which would create that sort of percussive sound in the mid-range. Peter, I recorded in my big string room, which was really fun, so I had a very open sound on the drums, and, and I used a lot of room, as, a lot, as well as a lot of the close mics for that. It just seemed to get the right vibe that I was going for. Yeah. And then there's another question.